Um, Eric, that we're on page 30, uh, 57. 57? Yeah. We're doing 57 first. that okay let's uh, we'll go through these together and and, and discuss these um, this this lesson is about adjectives it's a long word it means that it's a word that tells us about something some person we have these things called nouns, a person, place, or thing. So, I, you, I forgot this one, our pronouns, he, she, it, they, we, you, are all related to these. So if I said, I'm going to give this pen to you. It's, it's Jamal, okay, or Jamil. So a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. This is a pen, a thing. I could say, no. this is it. It is a pronoun. So we have to remember, these are basically, in terms of nouns and pronouns, they mean person, place, or thing. Adjectives, that's what we're doing today, they modify or describe nouns. So I think we use these quite commonly. I'm going to take this down so we can give some examples. we have to remember about in English is that these adjectives in English come before the noun. So for example, we're going to talk about I want to buy a house. 
So now I'm going to talk about house. There are many things we can say about a house. This is an adjective. It tells about the house. But we have to, and it goes first. You don't say a house big. No, a big house. Upper bark house. Brick house. Upper bark house. What is brick? Brick. Brick. Do we know brick? Yes. Brick house. Not wood. Brick. Brick. Okay. Or I could say. Wood, a wood house, a brick house. House. You can add, you can say more and more and more adjectives. So you can put them in front. Notice. If I have more than two, use a what? Comma. When we have more than two things, we start to use a comma to give some space. And also, when you read and you come to a comma, slow down. It means slow down. So I would say this, I would say, a cheap big brick house. Can you hear my voice? Slow down, a cheap big brick house. The comma reminds you, slow down when you read. You'll understand better. Now notice here, I'm going to change this to plural. Some big Some houses. Houses. Some big houses. Houses. Yeah. Houses. 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 Plural. plural. Houses. 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 Yeah. S here, nothing else. Just that one noun gets the S for plural, more than one. Psalm 2. Some sheep, big, house, big, 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 Covers it.
Exciting. Exciting. What does that mean? No, it's open not you. Yes. Something is exciting. The game was exciting. The game was exciting. The game was exciting. exciting. What was exciting? Game. The game. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we have this word, This, it comes at the end and it's and it's got the ing. Also this one. Excited. Yesterday's game, the people watching, very excited. Excited crowd. Goat. It's telling about the crowd. So we won't spend too much time, but I wanted to show you these two other ways that we get adjectives in there. Let's take a look here on page 57. And the first one, uh, part A, on part A, it gives us an example. And uh, let's go, we'll start in the back today. We'll start with, hey, good morning. How are you? Wait, Ruth, sign in here. Take one of these. And uh, did I give you a sheet? Oh, yeah, 57, yeah. Um, let me give you this. Today, they're asking us to be careful um, for several reasons. Um, I guess I should put up here also in the news. Um, virus is increasing. Gas is decreasing. Virus. Virus, yes. Not just COVID, but there's other uh, stuff. Yeah. My uh, one of my students has four kids, and. One kid gets sick, gets better, then the second one gets sick, oh, gets better. Ah, oh, the third one gets yeah. sick, then the fourth one. It's like bump, bump, bump. So that's what's happening right now. Um, lots of kids going to school, lots of virus going around. Um, kids get, kids usually get better fast, but harder as we get older. Um, and we'll stop with these to give, um, explain some of these, but let's, on page 57, Abdel Kader, got it? Yeah, 57. We'll start in the back with the example Lega. Want to do the example for part A?
So what's that? The word in brackets or parentheses at the end. Vocational. Vo vocational. Vocational. Look at all the pieces of that word. You got the word vocation, but what does vocational mean? What does it mean? What is a vocational school? Vocational. Holiday. That's vacation. Vocation. Easy to miss them. Vo va. Vocation. Vacation. Holiday. No. So vocation. If I said, what is your vocation? Your job. It, it means your job. What would we call your job? Yeah. Are you a um, salesman? Are you a teacher? Are you a machine operator? Are you a truck driver? Are you a nurse? Are you a security guard? Are you anything? Your vocation. So vocational Now, when we make it into an adjective, this is a noun. It's a thing, my vocation. Vocational school. What kind of school? Job school. A job school. Vocational school. To teach someone a job. So for example, um, I have a student, um, uh, he is not going to college or high school, he's going to a school to teach him to drive a large truck. Truck driving school. It's a vocational school. S special kind of school. But notice, when you see this ending on a word, it often tells you that it's an adjective. So you have to look at the first part Vocation. Yes, to tell you what its meaning is. Vocational. Um, so we'll just have to we'll learn some of these as we go through. Take a look at that. In the example. Lega said, vocational school. When you see a sentence that says school, something about a school, you'll ask yourself, what is it saying? It's some kind of a school. So it gives you a clue about the category. 
so the next, some of these are more difficult than others. Uh, uh, number one, leg, I do that one as well. We want to now get the jobs. One more time. We want to now get jobs. What's the word in, what's the word? In parentheses. New. New. Yeah. New. Not now. New challenge. New. So now try it again, Lega. We want to know. Huh? To get a new job. 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 What kind of jobs? New job. New, job. new jobs. So remember, you find the noun, the thing, and the adjective goes in front. We want to get new jobs. Uh, Saba, no, and write, as we do this, write these in. Just practice writing the English. Um, uh, Saba, number two. It's a uh, defect. If you have to tell me, I change for me. What's the word? Difficult. Difficult. Difficult what? Hard. What? Difficult. For me. Change for me. It's a difficult thing for me. What does that mean? Difficult. Change for me. What does difficult mean? Hard. Yes, it's hard for you to do it. What does change mean? Change. 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 That's one change in this right here. Change over one. That's change. Different. 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 For example. Oh, these glasses. I broke my glasses. I, think, uh, I can't see you very well, but I have to do this. New glasses. It's a difficult change for me to see you without glasses. Something different. So, for example, we would use this. Difficult. Uh, difficult change for change me. Change for me. Change for me. For me. So, a change. Oh. From this to this. Uber driver, truck driver. Change of vocation. A change of job. Difficult change. What does it mean? Not easy. Yeah. Okay. Not easy. I uh, it could be anything that's a change. 
For example, I write with my right hand. My left hand, I don't. What happens if I break my arm? I can't use it. I have to use this one. That's a change. A difficult change, not easy. Not easy. Uh, collude number three, oh no, number two. Number three. Uh, yes, number three. Marina has a good career. Career. What is a career? Job. Yes, a job. Career. Notice it's got. Career. Career. See the double E? Odd. Give it a long sound. Career. Career. Marina has a good career. Uh, four. Sam, number uh, four. She's a, she's a great lover. Lawyer. 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 Yeah. Lawyer. What is a lawyer? Advocate. 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 Person of the law. Another word for that is attorney. Attorney, yeah. Pardon? Attorney. I don't know that one. Attorney is a person, a lawyer is a person to practice law. In this country, lawyer or attorney. Yeah. In some countries, it's called advocate. Okay. We good? I don't know what word you meant. M A C A R. In Egypt? Yeah. Oh, really? Did you live in Egypt? No, no. No. Just here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, French. French met. Oh. French what? If you speak to the doctor, uh -huh. you say doctor. No. But if you uh, speak to uh, a lawyer, met. Oh. Instead. Well, it's from the in Egypt and France strong relationship. No, Egypt, uh, in in Egypt you hear Arabic and you hear English and you hear French and in many, many, many countries. Yeah. <clears throat> Egypt is a very old country. <laughs> Older than me. Uh, okay. Where are we? Number five, uh, Abdel Qadir. She has a nice home in New York. Very good. Number six, Oni. She has a small children. Good. And uh, Jamil, number seven. Born in, uh, born in uh, an amazing accountant. Very good. What is an accountant? Bank account. What do they do? Count. Count what? Count. Money. Money. Mm -hmm. Count. Yeah. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, he is also what beautiful about us. What's what's the word in brackets? Wonderful. Wonderful. Where does it go? So. He is wonderful. Wonderful. Also. also. He is also wonderful father. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> He is 
What does wonderful mean? Good or bad? Good. Very good. Good plus. Good. Means even better than good. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, notice here, when you see this, also, also, it means something else. Yeah. So this is a, a sentence that tells you this father is something, but also this. Wonderful. So this is not a paragraph, but just keep that in mind. Uh, where are we? Number nine. Next, yeah. Uh, he has a left thumb. Very good. And uh, number ten, arrest. Pardon? Mm -hmm. I call it oh, your arrest. That's the dad, yeah. uh, Abdul Rahman. I'm sorry. They alive in a quiet twin in California. Again? They alive in a quiet twin in California. Okay. You quit. Quiet, quiet, quiet. quiet. Town. town. What is a town? Big city. Big city. City. Big city. Small city. Village. Village. Yes. City, town, village. Yeah. Big city, city, town. Town and village, pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Um, what's this word? Quiet. 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 Not noisy. Not noisy. Quiet. 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 Got to get a sound in there. Quiet. Quiet. The reason I say that say this is a quiet classroom I live in a quiet neighborhood not a lot of noise what is this word quite quite quiet quite what does it mean quite very very oh that restaurant is very good. It is quite good. Yes. That, that man is very mean. That man is quite mean. It can be for good or for bad. It means very, quite. But then, of course, we have this word, just to remind you. Get these mixed up. What's that quiet. word? Third quiet. one. Quiet. 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 What's that one? I quit. Finish. All done. Finish. Not coming back. Finish. So if I say quit, did, did you quit your job? Quit. Okay, like that. Pardon? Outside the, the world. You're done. You're done. Yeah. yeah. I quit. I stop. I stop. No more. That's it. Quit. 
quite, quite quiet. They're easy to mix up. Uh, Part B is a little more complicated, and it wants you to rearrange the word. Uh, it's telling, telling you uh, a little uh, information um, in the question, and you have to put it into a statement. So it says, use the underlined noun as a modifier. So it's like we talked about vocational, a vocational school. So let's do the example here and uh, Nadia, do the example on part B. Um, what do you call a card you got at the library? Um, a library card. Library. Library card. Very good. So we've taken the word library and put it in front of card to make a library card. So do uh, now do you do the next one also number one. Uh, what do you call uh, uh, a clerk uh, who is? Uh, uh, at the desk in uh, a, hot, a hotel. Um, a desk uh, um, clerk. Desk clerk. De number two is a, uh, number one is a desk clerk. The person at the desk who is a clerk is the desk clerk. Number two, Fatima. What do you call a text where you get information? Information a desk. Information desk. Okay. What do you call a speaker who is a guest? Speaker is a guest. What kind of speaker? Who is a guest? Let's help her. Guest, guest, guest speaker. Guest speaker. Okay. Guest speaker. What does that mean, guest speaker? What is a speaker? speaker. Someone, someone who talks, to come in to talk to you. Speaker. What is a guest? A visitor, someone you invite. Someone you invite to your house is your guest. guest. If I bring in someone to speak to you, it's a guest. If it's going to be a speaker, guest. Guest speaker. Speaker. Person who speaks. Tells information. Uh, where are we? Uh, number four, back to Lega. What do you call a group that has a Discussion. 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 Discussion group. Discussion group. What does that mean, discussion? Communication among people. People talk with each other and talk in a group. Discussion. Yeah. Sabad, next one, number five. 
receive very good uh, Saba read it one more time what do you call a diploma that you receive 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 for a, from high school. a high school yeah a high school diploma diploma you see diploma Dip diploma everyone diploma diploma yeah this word receive receive What does this mean? Receive. What does it mean? Receive. Get. Yes. Yes. Here's the mailman. I receive. I get some mail. I receive some mail. Okay. Give and receive. Give and receive. Receive. Okay. Receive. Uh, where are we? Uh, number seven. Uh, Kalud? Six. 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 What, what do you call a catalog with you learn about a college? A college catalog. Catalog. What is a catalog? Men. Yeah, a catalog is a book with lots of information in it. Yeah, catalog. Sometimes for a school, school catalog, shopping catalog. Uh, number seven, uh, Sam. What you call call will you line a break? Uh, a trade school. A trade school. Remember, vocational school? Same thing. Vocational school, trade school. Remember our word? Vocational? Trade school. Yeah. Uh, number eight, uh, Abdel Kader. What do you call a skill? What is for life? Life skill. A life skill. What is a life skill? A life skill. Nice. Like what? Nice. Life skill. Life skill. I think like Like what? Give me an example. Swimming skill. A life skill, life skill that, life skill is something you do, not for a job, although it can be, but it's a skill you learn for your life, how to do something. For example, cooking. Do you know how to make your own food in the kitchen? Do you know how to take care of your house? Oh, my door. Uh, I can't, it's broken. Can I fix this? Life skill, just things in life that you fix. Uh, here's the one. Who has a car in this room? Who has an automobile? Anyone here have a car? Yes, yes. If you have a flat tire, mm -hmm. do you know how to change it? Yes. yes. Life skill. Life. Just things you do for yourself where you don't have to say, hello, come and fix this for me. A life skill. Um, where are we, number, uh, number nine? Uh, how many? What do you call a schedule? For and what what's the answer? Schedule. This word uh,
It depends on where you live. Schedule, ska, 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 but the English pronunciation is schedule. You will hear it both ways. Especially if you go to Canada and you go to take the train, they will say, the train schedule is on the wall. Here we say schedule. They mean the same thing. Both pronunciations are correct. And uh, let's see, what's the last one? one there, number 10. Uh, who is next? Abdel uh, Rahman, number okay. 10. Hijab interview, very good. Okay, this next part is a little different, and these are called imperatives. An imperative is when you uh, tell somebody to do something and you start with the verb. Drive my car. Don't drive. That means you. Write your name on the paper. You write. Okay. So, um, we leave out the word you, but we mean that it's there. Um, so up here are the examples for imperatives. It says, write your name on the application. And the negative imperative is, don't write your name on, uh, age. well, write your age. Press the green button. Don't press, don't press the red button. button. Be helpful at work. Don't be late for work. Um, the next part, these bullet points, uh, I think we understand them. So let's do part A and B, and I'll give you a few minutes to write these in, and then we'll run through these.
Okay, let's uh, go through uh, uh, on part A, and uh, it's a direction. And the example is telling us how to do that. And so let's start here, example Farhana. Tell Lisa not to turn on the copier. Don't turn on the copier. Copier, what is a copier? Copy, computer copier. To, to make more papers. Paper. Yeah, okay. okay. Do the first one also. Direct Marco to press the start button. Uh, don't start the not, door. It's not negative. Oh, yeah. Do. Do the press button. Do don't press the button. Do. Direct. Don't press. Don't I don't see a no. It says direct Marco. It means tell Marco to do what? Do. Don't press the start button. Press the start button. Okay. So I'm. Uh, Press the start button. That was number one. Notice this is an adjective telling about which button? The start button. And number uh, two, there was. Don't turn the computer. Tell me not to turn off the computer. Number two. Tell me not to turn off the computer. Don't turn. Don't. 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 Number three, we'll go in the back. Er, go ahead, one more up here, Fatima. Tell them to wait for the phone call. You wait for the phone call. Do. You don't need to say do. Do. Just say. Wait for the phone call. People won't put do in front. The they mean it, but they don't say it. Wait, Wait for the phone call. call. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Number four, Lega in the back. Shredder. 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 Yes. So, what's the sentence? Shredder. Don't, don't put his fingers near the shredder. Yeah, give me a sparse space here. What is this? Shredder. Last week we talked about that. What is it? Shredder. What is it? Machine. 
What does it do? Machine. It's a machine. Cut the finger. Well, it will. Cut the beef. Yes, it's to cut Peter. So, this is very important document. I read it. I don't want you to see it. Private information. I put it in the shredder. Shredder. Don't put your fingers near the shredder. That's a warning. Warning. It means your fingers. Careful. Yeah. Careful. Dangerous. Yes, dangerous. <clears throat> okay, on number four. All right. Number five. No, five. Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, direct your uh, friend to connect the mission. Then to connect the mission. It's not negative. Not negative. Don't. Direct your friend to connect the machine. Don't continue. Count the Connect the machine. Connect. 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 Connect means put together. Connect. So when it says direct, direct means tell somebody to do something. So if I said I want to direct Sam to go to Horizon. I would say, Sam, go to Horizon. I'm telling, I'm giving him a direction. Something you tell that's not, not negative. So if I said, I want to direct someone not to touch the door. I'm telling someone not to touch the door. I would say, don't touch the door. Not to, that's the don't part. Yeah. Um, let's see, where are we? Number six. Number six, yes. Uh, who is Phoenix. next? Uh, Arafat. Tell us, record amazing on message. Message. Oh, message on the machine. Don't. Uh, uh, no, don't. don't. No, don't. Record the mission. Record it. Yes. Yeah. Record. Record on the message on the machine. Yeah. Mm. Number seven, Jamil. Once again, not to answer the phone. Don't, don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phone. So people, people tell their kids, don't answer spam calls. Don't answer. What happens if you answer spam? Do you know spam? Spam. Spam. On your phone. Yeah. 
What happens if you answer it? We're no, going to get no, more no, and more and more and more spam. Yeah. Uh, now, part B is the same thing but a little different, and it's telling us use the negative. So from positive to negative. So let's uh, go here to the example and we'll start up here with Nadia, the example. We got one more number eight. Did we do number eight? No. Oh, I thought, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Nadia, number eight. Uh, direct sum to enter a phone number in the uh, machine. So. Um, phone, uh, phone number in the machine. Enter. Enter. A number. In the machine. In the machine. Entering number in the machine. Very right. good. Okay. Now we'll move on to part B, and we're trying to make negatives here. Okay. So number uh, the example for Hannah. Record the new message, old message. Don't record the old message. Okay. Turn on the new copier. Broken. Uh, now we want a negative. Negative. Mm, don't. Turn on the broken copier. Very good. Telling us what not to do. Not to do. Notice here. Don't turn on the broken copier. What kind of copier? A broken copier. The first sentence was a new copier. Broken copier. And the second sentence is broken, broken copier. copier. Yeah. Number two, Fatima. Put the paper in the top. Don't put the bottom paper. Wait, wait, wait. I want to try it again. Put the paper in the top. Don't the bottom, Don't. The bottom paper, paper in the top. Let's help her out. Don't put, Don't put Don't the bottom paper. paper. Don't put the paper. Bottom paper. Bottom paper. Bottom paper. Bottom paper. In the top. In the put in What's the word? The top bottom. bottom. Top bottom. Okay. Here's an example. Put the paper in the top. top. Don't put the bottom. paper in the bottom. bottom. What does bottom mean? Less. Bottom. Down. 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 All the way Down. to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. bottom. Top bottom. and bottom. Uh, where are we? Number um, three. number three, Lega. Store of the shoulder furniture. Done of the furniture. of the furniture. Turn off what? Store of the shoulder.
Lego, you always get shredder. <laughs> yes. So, what's this word? Shredder. 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 Yeah. It's kind of hard to say. Shred. Shred. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Printer. Turn off the shredder. Don't turn off the. <coughs> Don't turn off the printer. So about number three, or number four. Press the stop the button, not press the start Start button. Number uh, five, Kalut. Answer a number. Do it as well as me. Okay. Uh, number six, Sam. Wait for. Uh, Wait for an answer. Wait for uh, uh, wait for do, uh, wait for a deep answer and a deep an answer. Sorry. I'm sorry, Sam. One more time. Wait for an a deep answer. Wait for a what? Deep. Wait for an answer. Now the negative. For a what? For a deep. Uh, What is a beep? <coughs> what is a beep? It's a sound. A sound. What you hear? Beep, 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 beep. Anyone here of a microwave? Yeah. You put the coffee in. Finish the beep beep. Mm, beep beep beep. Done. Yeah. Beep. Telephone, microwave, just a signal. Beep. Beep. Um, beep. Sound. I'll come back to this one. Okay. Um, where are we? Number uh, seven. Who is next? I think Abdel Kader. Yeah. Connect the printer to the computer. Don't connect the printer to the box. Yeah, very good.
place. What does that mean? To place something. Oh, it means put. Put. Yeah. Uh, yes, I understand. The library is a place. Yeah. But this is an action. Don't put the paper on the shelf. Don't place the paper on the shelf. What is a slot? Slot. Slot. Place. Yes. Uh, let me see if I can find one here. Post office. You're putting your mail in mail. this slot. Packages, Packages in this slot. It's a little hole where things go in. A place for things, a slot. Middle slot. Pardon? Slot. slot. Yeah. Top slot, middle slot. My door at home has a hole in it for the mail. The mailman comes, puts the mail in the hole. Mail slot. Sorry, one more time. Hello? 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 What? Say it again. Oh my God. What the hell? Hello? 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 That's a trick. Spam. Do we know spam? Yeah. Spam is calls. They want to sell you something you don't want. They want you to answer so they get your phone number, then they send it to someone else. They sell your phone number to get you to buy something. It just wastes all your time. That phone number looks like my number that I know. One number missing. They're trying to fool me. You should answer this phone. And it's a spam call. Yeah. I'm not answering. I did answer, but I said goodbye. Okay. Uh, two more up here. Number nine. Where are we? Uh, Keep the pinter. Uh, who's next to here? Doraman. Keep the printer near the cover phone. Copier. Don't keep the printer. Very good. Copier. Say the word copier. 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 Yes. And uh, number 10, all right? Uh, turn off the copier night and the morning. Don't turn off the copier night. Wait, wait. The cup and the morning. Yeah. Don't turn off the copier. At night. At night. In the morning. Yeah. In the morning. So all of these will start with don't. don't. Yeah. In the morning. Um, I wanted to show you something here. Um, what is a button? Button. Start button. Start. What is a button? What? 
This word We know we have my I'm wearing a sweater, but button. you button. button on your shirt or yeah. jacket, whatever. In your car, from my car. Keep on door. When I start my car, I key button. Yes. Button. Button. What do we call this? Calling bell. Oh. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't know what it did. What is that? What is this? Button. Button. Switch. Yes. Yeah. We call that the light switch. Switch. On off switch. A button. Push. Off, push. Yeah. Push. Push. Button. Yeah. Uh, there was something else I wanted to show you here. Uh, that word beep. Beep is a, a word that sounds like what it does. Beep. 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 Beep, 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 beep. Yes. It sounds like when you say the word beep, the word sounds like what it is. Beep. beep. Yeah. So um, we also use it to tell what we do in a car. Beep. What does that mean? You push. You push the horn on your car. Beep, beep, beep. So you can do that too. When you're driving, someone's too close, beep. beep yeah. You push the, on your car, beep. Yeah. Um, it's a sound and a thing. Um, all right, we'll stop work for today with this one. We covered a lot. Tomorrow, uh, we'll do something different. Um, and, uh, uh, I think everyone here uh, is done with testing with um, Silva. Uh, those of you that are in my class in January, uh, you just keep coming. And in January, when we come back to school, there will be some new people that um, are starting the class. If you know someone that wants to take English, they should sign up now with Silva. January. In Jan for January, starting January. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.